Edition of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... Virginia is a wine destination and the Bedford Wine Trail in the scenic region of Bedford County makes for a great adventure. The trail consists of six wineries, all with unique wines and scenery to enjoy. But before you go, stop in here at the Bedford Welcome Center to pick up your trail map and brochure. The map will help you find your way and the passport is for each winery to stamp. Collect all six and return for your special gift. You'll love it, I guarantee. stop on the trail is Peaks of Otter Winery. This farm, located in the Blue Ridge Mountains, is a sixth generation family farm dating back to 1919. Danny Johnson runs the winery in Johnson's Orchards, an orchard where a wide variety of fruits are grown. He took me around to see just some of the thousands of fruit trees growing here on his property. Oh yeah, that's tart. <laughs> a property that spans more than 200 acres. Everything from grapes, blackberries, blueberries, peaches, and cherries are all grown and used to produce wine. It's a recipe that's been passed down for generations. Some of our fruits are mixed wines. We'll do a strawberry and apple wine together, and we use the same recipe that my great-grandmother used up on the mountain, right across from the peaks of Otter Lodge. She decided that the elderberries came got ripe in the fall of the year, so she fermented the elderberries in apple juice. And it's a very unusual process. So we freeze all of our fruits now and wait until the fall of the year when we start pressing apples and all our berries then are fermented with the apple juice then. They get creative with their wines here. In fact, they have over 30 different varieties. Now, Danny, you have one that's called Kiss the Devil. What is this all about? This is 30 different kinds of uh, chili peppers including the jalapeno, the habanero, and the ghost pepper. In this? In this, uh-huh. It's a little bit warm. <laughs> You'll find out. All right, here I go. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. And for that... <laughs> my mouth is on fire! For that, you get a sticker. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> uh... <laughs> Any good? It'll cure. It's good in. <laughs> My cheeks are burning right now. <laughs> Am I red? One out of seven people get the hiccup. <laughs> Come and try them for yourself, and then take the time to explore this gorgeous property. You can pick your own fruit and visit the farm animals that love visitors stopping by. Danny says it's this type of discovery that brings him the most joy, which is why he hosts thousands of kids each year for school field trips. We want children to know where their food products come from. We think it's very important, and we think it's very important to the agricultural industry for children to know what people have to go through to get these food products. Not only do the children learn something, but if I'm not teaching the parents something, then I'm losing, I'm, I'm losing something then. So that's what we want to do. Every, every, we want every parent to learn something too. Danny is a hoot. Go see him this Saturday at the Horse and Hound Wine Festival at Peaks of Otter Winery and Orchards. Enjoy wine from some of Virginia's finest wineries while listening to good music and visiting art, craft, and food vendors. Virginia's most unique wine festival has numerous events throughout the day with horses and dogs as the primary attractions. Visit peaksofotterwinery.com to learn more. And for more on the Bedford Wine Trail, visit thebedfordwinetrail.com.